Hey guys, my name is Yash and today in this video we will talk about the one page navigation widget of the Powerpack Elements add-on for Elementor. This widget allows you to add impressive scrolling effect with custom navigation to your landing pages or any other page easily. This navigation system is easy to set up and is mobile responsive as well and comes with multiple styling options that you can work with. And now let's go ahead and see how you can use this widget. Look for the one page navigation widget, drag it and drop it. Now we need to add the dots. As we have five different sections on the page, we need to add five dots for respective section. Click on the add item button to add the dot. You can also remove a dot by clicking on the X icon. Now. Let's see how you can alter a dot. Select the section 1, give it a proper title. In this case, it is going to be hero. Now we need to add the section ID. This is the CSS ID that is set for that specific section. Go into the section settings and click on advanced. There you can see the CSS ID. Copy that and add it to the section ID in the first navigation dot. Now you can choose a custom navigation dot for the hero section. Go ahead and do the same changes to the remaining dots. Remember to add that unique CSS ID that you have set before. You can give each navigation dot a unique look by selecting an icon from the list. Once you have updated all the dots, it's time to add some design changes. Go to the style tab and increase the navigation dot size. You can also align the navigation box on top, bottom, left and right according to your website's need. Add a background color by selecting the background as single color. And from the color palette selecting the color, in this case I am using flat white. As you can see that the navigation box does not look very appealing right now. So let's go ahead and add some padding as well as rounded corners. To do that, scroll down on the navigation box and add the border radius. Add the padding as 15. So this will give an extra space. Now if you want to remove this space and want your navigation box to stick to the edge of the website, set the margin as 0. This will do the trick. Add a box shadow to it so the box will look more appealing. Now hop onto the navigation dots and increase the spacing if required. I am setting the spacing here as 15. You can also change the navigation dots color by selecting one from the color palette. Once you have done that you can just go ahead and click on the navigation dots to see if it's working correctly or not. You can also go ahead and try changing the alignment and choose whatever suits your website. Now we need to make our active dot pop out. So for that add a color to the active dot by going to the navigation dots. Under the box shadow option you will see the color option. Select the active tab and Add the dot color by selecting color from the palette. Now you can see that the active dot is highlighted with a different color. Adding a different dot color will help the user in identifying the active dot more precisely. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click that like button and I will see you guys at the next video.